Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, and if you're looking for an ETF for the future, then this is the video for you. So stick me in this one, and let's see what we can get into. So what do you think of when you look into the future? Do you think drones, genomics, electric vehicles, solar power, and there's obviously there's a lot more different industries as well. Now, when you think about these things, you've got to think about maybe why I want to put my money into this. Maybe I can grow my wealth for the future with these industries. Now in this particular video, I'm gonna show you one particular industry that you could probably sink your money into. But before we do that, let's use an example. So the internet 20 years ago, you know, it wasn't really around too much. It was, it was dial up, it was slow, the gigabytes weren't there, it, it just wasn't quite there. But now we depend on it, now we need it. Now obviously businesses just solely work on that alone. Advertising's moved all onto the, onto the internet, and it's basically our lives. Let's be honest, the internet is our lives. So imagine investing in the internet 20 years ago. I think you'd have a little bit more money now, wouldn't you? And certainly companies like Apple and all that who depend on it. I think we'd all be pretty pretty well off. So by using that information, we need to think about how we kind of look into the future, what, what's going to change, and how we can kind of benefit from that from a wealth perspective. But before we do that, guys, make sure you smash that like button, turn it blue, whatever you need to do, just hit it, hit it, hit it. And obviously subscribe to the channel if you like this type of investing content. And without further ado, let's have a look at the ETF. So this is the ETF I'm going to be mentioning in this video, but make sure you stay to the end. So I'm going to give you a few more ETFs that you could be looking forward to for the next 10 to 20 years growth. Um, so make sure you stick around to the end for that. So here we are, we've got eCar, which is iShares Electric Vehicles and Driving Technology ETF. Now what we've got here is year to date, we've got 13% up, which is already pretty good in terms of uh, August. Obviously the S&P on average goes from seven to 10% per year. So we've already beaten that in, in, in respect. So what this is, is electric vehicles. Now obviously you see electric vehicles on the road now, there's some by Volkswagen, Tesla, there's a whole bunch of companies that do it now. But still, they're not really that affordable for the average person. And people are obviously still paying for the premium of having an electric vehicle. But moving forward into 2030 and 2040, there's got to be companies that only sell electric vehicles to move on to try and save the world in, in some sort of effect. Do remember that this is an ETF for the next 20 years. So think about your kids, think about your future, your growth, your kind of retirement, that kind of thing. So it's almost like a retirement fund growing with the world and how it's changing. So if we look down into here, we've got why eCar, invest in the secular growth trends to take advantage of the irreversible shift towards electric vehicles. Again, kind of backing up what I just said there. Um, there's a few more points there, um, but this is the one I want to have a look at here, and that's investment objective. The iShares Electric Vehicles and Driving Technology seeks to track the investment results of an index composed of developed and emerging markets uh, market companies that focus on electric vehicles and driving technologies. I didn't actually really have to read all of that, but uh, I did anyway, so that, that's, that is what it is. So that's what it's concentrating on. We'll look through the holdings in a minute so you can see what kind of companies are in the ECF. That always interests some people, at least it interests me anyway. So we, as we go down here, we've got the kind of growth, performance, annualized, cumulative, calendar year, all of that, and you can see the full chart. Um, it's a very nicely kind of presented chart and very interactive, as you can see here, all the numbers are flowing through. And if we go back to all, it's actually only introduced in, um, well, February 2019. So it's a fairly new ETF, and obviously with the growth of electric vehicles, that kind of makes sense, at least in my opinion which I say quite a lot apparently. So here we are, fun launch date obviously as I just mentioned, and you can see um, just all your basic information, nothing that really pops out to me, apart from maybe this point here, which is ISA eligibility, and yes, so you guys can put it in your ISAs. Um, I'm not too sure what brokers have them. I know Trading212 has them, because that's the one I use from a personal point of view. But yep, it is ISA eligible, so which means you can basically have it all tax free, so in 20 years time, you can take out that money and you won't be paying much tax or any tax. So portfolio characteristics here, we've got PE ratio of 26, which is which is not bad for an emerging market. Um, it kind of the best ones are kind of around 10, 15, but obviously the aim of an ETF is to keep it kind of as stable as possible. And just scrolling back up quickly, I almost forgot the rebalance frequency is annual, which means they take a look at the companies that are in there, they either take some out or they put some in, they rebalance the kind of percentages with the, within the portfolio. Um, that's done annually. So some of them do quarterly, etc. But this one's done annually. Moving on down here, we will look at registered locations. This is where you availability is, is for the ETF is here. Um, and when you scroll down, we've got the holdings, which is the like the fun part, should we say? Now I have actually downloaded the spreadsheet, which we can see here. I'm not too sure how much you can see. I think you can see all of that. 
Um, you can see top holding here, Samsung, BYD, which is a Warren Buffett followed company. He, he, he's really into that. Kind of a bit of a, they're actually next to Neo in terms of a physical location. Um, so you could almost have that as your Neo alternative. You've got Garmin, which is the kind of satellite type thing. What they're called, SatNav, that's the one. Um, <laughs> Nvidia, who obviously make the chips to put in the electric cars. Tesla, we all know who Tesla is. Nissan, Toyota, Honda. Intel Corporation, again, chips, computing, that kind of thing. So you can see where they're coming from. They've got all the car companies, Ford, again, here, look, BMW, Renault. So all of the car companies, all of the kind of battery companies, um, obviously the tech, the, the innovation, that kind of side of things as well. As we scroll down, we've got all the smaller ones here as well. And there's a huge, huge amount of holdings in this particular ETF, which just gives you that diversity within that industry of electric vehicles. So overall, I hope you can see how bullish I am on electric vehicles going forward for my kids, for my family, for kind of my retirement. I think I will be investing in, because I'm more into stocks and investing and kind of picking the right ones, I will be investing in solo companies. But if you're not so into investing, but you still want to invest in your future, this may be a great option for you. This ETF or any other emerging up markets ETFs, which we'll have a look at in a minute. I'll tell you a few more things that you could probably go into. But overall, my thoughts are very bullish for this kind of industry going forward because obviously all the governments by 2030, by 2045 around the world are aiming for kind of mostly electric vehicles on the road, which is good for the environment and obviously good for the investor too. Now, just before we move on to kind of the other ETFs that you may look forward to in the next 10 to 20 years with your growth, retirement goals, etc., I just want to say that I've only actually found this on Trading 212. Now, I have had a look on Free Trade and I have had a look on eToro. I don't see anything like that at all. And obviously, Trading 212 are currently closed at the time of recording for new signups, although they are letting people in around Europe. So it is worth waiting for, I think, if, if, you're, if you're kind of directed towards this, this kind of ETF. But it is important to note there is other ETFs to choose from, and now I will just share a couple more with you. First up is ArcG, which is based on genomics, which is the gene editing kind of software where it's supposed to improve your life and improve the longevity of your life too. Obviously, there's early studies, early stages with this as well, but they are showing some dramatic growth in that kind of sector in the last couple of years, and they'll probably look to do more so towards that direction in the next five to 10 years as well. Next up is ticker symbol ESPO, which is esports and gaming. And obviously we know that the gaming is getting bigger and bigger. They're pumping money into it. They're actually viewing it on TVs, streams, etc., Twitch and all of that. It's getting bigger, so it's something if, you, if you're interested in gaming, could be an option for you as well going forward. But yeah, that's ESPO. Second to last on my list is RBOD, which is robotics and automation. And as we know, robots are kind of almost taking over the world. So let's be mindful of where that's going and maybe it could be an opportunity to put our money into an ETF related to that as well going forward. And the last one on my list is INRG, which is Global Energy ETF. And that is basically everything to do with global energy. And we, we know that global warming is taking over and we need to kind of move forward in massive, massive steps in order to kind of save the planet that we live on, that our children will live on, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So that's another option for you too. Let me know what you think about this kind of video, this kind of thought process of ETFs going forward. It might be an idea for people who don't really necessarily want to be investing too much to look at these kind of options going forward. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think down below and anything that you might want to add to other, other viewers. Pop it down in the comments down below and maybe everyone can get some value like that as well. So as always, subscribe to the channel if you do like this type of content and obviously smash that like button. I'd really do appreciate that too. And with that being said, thank you very much for watching. Invest safe, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Also, just before I go, if you're feeling super generous, you can actually support the channel now with the link down below to buy me a coffee. Now, I do love coffee. So if you do do that, thank you very much. I appreciate the support massively, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Now, just before we jump into some alternative uh, growth ETFs for the future, I will just... What am I doing? <laughs> Global. Oh my God. Global warming. Oh yeah, sure.